Hello and uh, good morning. I'm Greg Anthony, the host of the investigative journal radio show. The long running show, it's been on the internet and various uh, AM, FM channels for the last 10 years. And uh, I haven't really uh, decided uh, anything regarding how deeply I'll get into YouTube. But I wanted to start off by uh, putting a number of 10 minute to 12 minute segments, comments uh, on YouTube so that perhaps you'll go to my website at arcticbeacon.com. Now there you'll find articles and shows going back almost 10 years. I started out and it's really good to get to know people on the internet uh, because so many of these YouTubes are with people that give you a lot of different names. Now my name is Greg Anthony Szymanski. Last name is spelled S-Z-Y-M-A-N-S-K-I. And I'm probably best known for the phrase that I coined and that was the Vatican-led New World Order. Now I'm not a Catholic basher, never have been. Uh, I became a uh, mainstream journalist back probably before many of you were born. There was no internet. There was in fact uh, basically the first newspaper I worked on to date myself. Uh, we still used typewriters. Yes, and we had to make our corrections by hand and etc. etc. And uh, at the time it was 19, I believe about 1976, and I was working for a paper called the Naples Daily News in Naples, Florida. A nice daily. And uh, basically learned the ins and outs of the newspaper profession there. Uh, oh, you had to write a lot. Two or three stories a day. And that was to make $175 a week. And people say, well, how did you live on $175 a week? Well, back then I lived better than I do now. And the reason was that uh, you could get an apartment and I had a, I think it was a two bedroom apartment right on a golf course about three blocks from the beach in Naples. And that cost me about $165 a month. Food was pretty cheap. Life was a little better in 75 in America, at least economically. Oh yes, the insidious Vatican led New World Order was busy at work busy at work turning us into a bunch of robots, turning us into, oh, what I call mind-controlled idiots. Yes, mind-control idiots. Now, I'm not just saying that about you, I'm saying it about myself, because nobody knows better what really goes on in the newspaper business until you work in it. And when I started, and the reason I'm doing this is because many, many times, You'll find people on the internet, you have no idea who they are, no idea what their agenda is. And I'll tell you this. That's my name. You can check it out. I go by Greg Anthony. And the reason I do that is not strictly because the Polish name is hard to announce or pronounce. It's because... There's a, a reason that I use Greg Anthony, and you can go to some of my shows calling Breaking the Chains to, the, to Being a United States or a U.S. Citizen. And although Greg Anthony, why I'll use it is just, uh, it's not changing who I am, but it is a symbol of what the shows that I did on how you really can get out of being a U.S. citizen, a slave, no, uh, I might add. And those shows you can find on my website at arcticbeacon.com. Now, like I said, I'm best known for tying the knot, you know, this, this knot between the Vatican and the governments of the world. And what is really going on now? When you look at some of this stuff, in the beginning, you're not going to believe it. Okay, we're back, and I'm going to make this uh, short and sweet. The reason uh, I'm doing this first YouTube 
on my channel, which you can find at the Investigative Journal, is so that you get to know me, you get to know why I've been reporting all these stories over the last 10 years on the alternative news, and also my progression from being a mainstream journalist in Naples, Florida for that daily newspaper, living in Rome, Italy in the belly of the beast for almost seven years, and then returning to America, uh, pursuing still a journalism career, but finding that it's very impossible to get these stories out in the mainstream. And seeing that I chose it as my profession, I wanted to say two things. There's no hidden agenda here. And the reason that I'm still broadcasting these shows is because I think it's vitally important you understand the connection between the spiritual and the secular and the Vatican and the New World Order and really where it comes from. So this is just the first of many, many shows. I'll do it in short segments because we live in a soundbite world, don't we? And you'll get an idea of really the importance of a lot of the shows that I'm going to be doing continually on my website called arcticbeacon.com as well as uh, broadcasting now on firstamendmentradio.com several AM stations in the south who will have the courage to cover these stories and uh, thirdly you can find me uh, boy a lot of people take these and put my shows on YouTube but I thought you'd really want to get to know me because it's really it really does upset me when I see all these YouTube videos about supposed truth and I know there's a lot of good people out there and I, I just want you to know that it's really difficult sometimes to know what the agenda of these people are because they go by so many different names. It's almost as if they're afraid to really tell you who they are. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody, but there's a lot of that going on. And you know it as well as I do. So you're going to get to know a little bit about me. My journey from the time I believe that America was what it said it was, the bastion of freedom, and I believe that the Vatican is what it said it was, the Mother Church. And you're going to see the deceptions, the mind control, the hidden, hidden truth behind the real stories in America, many of which I've tried to cover throughout the years. Now, I started uh, alternative radio on a station called Republic Broadcasting Network. I used to do articles for the American Free Press in Washington and also used to uh, be on uh, Genesis right after the Alex Jones show. And you'll also find out a little bit of what I learned about them and exactly how 99% of the truth isn't good enough. So... Look forward to talking to you more. Again, my name is Greg Anthony, and if you want to know my last name, it's Szymanski. And you'll find me at arcticbeacon.com, A-R-C-T-I-C-B-E-A-C-O-N.com. Look forward to many more of these YouTubes, and we're going to do it over a period of time so you get to know the inside stories behind all of the radio shows and the articles I've written over the years. And one person asked me one time, Greg, why do you do it? <laughs> Somebody asked me that this morning. And uh, usually I let other people answer that question for me. So uh, you figure it out. Well, listen, nice talking with you today. And see you again here on the Investigative Journal YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.